For this challenge, we are going to be utilizing the zigzag filter. Now, I'm not sure quite why they call it the zigzag filter when it kind of does more of a, uh, well, you're going to see. Let, let's just go in and, and play with it. But here is the layout I did. Um, what I did was to take this photo here and I duplicated it. Let's um, go ahead and break some of this down. I took the loto, the this photo here and I duplicated it and then I went to the elliptical marquee tool and uh, this is um, the Lihui airport um, or city that's actually the entire city uh, in Kauai, Hawaii as we were landing and so I kind of thought it'd be cool to take my airplane and make it look like there was some motion um, there and um, the easiest way to do this is to choose where you want your center and I kind of thought I might want it right about here and if you hold down your alt key and your shift key while you draw out it will make the circle from wherever your circumference, the center of your circle is from wherever you put the mouse down the first time, your circumference will go out from wherever you first put it. So I put my mouse down about right here and you can see that is the center now of my circle. I hope I finally made sense of that. So that's the Alt and the Shift key before you can begin drawing with the uh, marquee tools and then I went up to the filter drop down menu distort and zigzag and this does come up with a pop-up here and for it was it, the defaults are somewhere down in here and you can see here in this view here it do, didn't do a whole lot and as I bring that up ooh, there's a little bit of swirl kinda like spacey stuff up there right now but as I bring this up, you can see the, what it's, what's happening here. You can't see it very well because it's a dark image. But I went ahead and took it. Ooh, that's kind of cool. See how you just can play around with it? But I took it all the way up so it was complete swirls. And then you have three styles down here. You have around the center, which I could have done that. It's kind of like a spiral. Out from the center or pond. So you can see they're all kind of a it's not really a zigzag it's more like a ripple effect from coming out from a pond and I can really see this maybe with um, some backgrounds with water uh, too and so I did the pond ripple and I clicked OK and then I came up with this. It's kinda cool and I could have left it like that and it might have worked okay but I decided to play with it a little bit more and so I went ahead and hit control I on my keyboard and I came up with this and I thought that was kind of cool um, especially on a white background and um, I actually played with it in this the original photo I used uh, Let's see, which way did I go with it? It seems to be, let's, there we go. And I went up one pixel and to the right one pixel, so I ended up with a line. But then I went through all of my blending modes and I, let's turn on this original. Um, no, that's not it. <laughs> I'm on the wrong layer. So uh, here's my original that I bumped up uh, and over just so that it created its own line. I thought that was artistic and then here it is the one I inverted and I found I played with all of the blending modes and I found this luminosity was cool and it brought back some of uh, the original color and so that's what I did to play with this and um, then, uh, let's see, I added this photo and this photo 
and my journaling and I thought that was pretty cool just like that but I thought it needed a little bit more without taking away from this effect of white on white and so then I found Jodi Ann's messy edges and I completed my layout now I'm not just, I'm not crazy about this but my husband really liked it so let's go um, play a little bit more because we like to play I'm going to duplicate it to keep something in the background. Filter, distort, zigzag, and let's go ahead and see what happens if we change this to around from center. You can see the effect there, and it it actually applied it to the whole whole uh, um, layer because I. Uh, did not have a selection. I think it really helps to have a selection. Even if I hold down my control key and select just this layer itself and um, go back in here and do that exact same one and then we're going to end up with this. So it's really great for some guy cool stuff. I don't know exactly why they call it zigzag. Um, because it's more of a ripple effect. Somebody needed to learn some naming. Um, ooh, that looks more like a pinwheel there. Let's take it down and let's do out. Nope, I like the pinwheel effect. Let's see what happens. Well, it just kind of made look like lightning or something. So you really have to um, use your imagination. Let's see what it does with just that little bit of effect. Let's do out from the center. And we got nothing. Distort. Zigzag. Let's change it back to this one. Whoa. Um. I'm just playing because I haven't actually played. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and make another, um, just another circle just so that we can uh, see what happens when you limit it. Let's see, what shall we play with now? Um, out from the center. take it down and then nothing. You might have different results on different photos. But this is basically it. You are watching me play for the first time. Let's just take it all the way up. Oh, you, now you can see a little bit of what it did there. Kind of almost made a stained glass look over here. Um, if you zoom in with the the lights that we had there. So anyway, think creatively. You don't have to do like I did. Um, you can use this in any way imaginable that you can think of. Um, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to use a small strip of it just to see what happens. If we can even get a zigzag <laughs> with a smaller strip. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't even see it on our preview. <gasps> oh! Now see? That turned out pretty cool. Now I could probably really use that on a guy layout a cool, well, I mean, it, it could be a teen layout. Um, I could make that into an element and sell it. <laughs> I probably would erase the little thingies up here, though. And this one here. There. Now that's really cool. I might have to just put that on another layout. See? Play until you get something cool and then um, go for it. Uh, 
that would zebra layout um, yeah okay I can't wait to see what you come up with when you play and be sure to let us know how you did it bye